So this is day 11. Hey, you guys, it is Sierra. I know, it's tired, it's time. It's your favorite hairstylist, wig designer, beauty boss, coach. I am coming before you with this video. This video will show you how I installed this, these hair extensions, uh, what hair extensions I use, and I'll share a couple of pictures of the different things that I did to it. Definitely created a bang. Don't worry about it. <laughs> let's get right into it we're going to start on clean fresh hair yes we are doing a half up half down quick weave i start by separating the front of my hair from the back of my hair using my ears as a reference point to part and you guys know i have a shortcut so it'll be very easy i'll just use foam to slick my hair down but if you have length to your hair you might want to braid it or put it in a low ponytail Next, you will need a stocking cap and you will need duck bill clips to keep the hair separate. Now let it dry and put it on a stocking cap. It was at this moment that he knew. Y'all, yep, I messed up. But the hair we'll be using today is Breezy Wave by Organique 24 inch. Y'all, I did not ignore the fact that I missed my whole entire scalp. I end up getting somebody else to do it. You want to sit on a dry with the liquid cap. That is the diamond shield. But if you're doing it yourself, use a spatula or a comb and just spread it all over the cap where your hair is. And now I am, let it dry. Then I'm cutting it off around the back, cutting off the band. And then you will commence to bonding on your hair extensions. So once you do that, you un package your hair you unravel it take it all loose you guys know me i bond in two wefts at a time you can do one weft just follow me we're going to go in a horseshoe pattern just like that you can cut it here and then you will put the binding glue on the weft and attach it to the cap now those foam the cap and the liquid cap was to protect my hair you want to do this you guys to protect your hair horseshoe each track will be placed the same in a horseshoe line all the way up the back of the head you'll notice this is done because it makes it transparent when it comes to the sides now follow the pattern that i'm doing and you'll be all right Now I'm able to bond in two wefts at a time because there's a method to my madness. If you notice, as I'm holding the weft, it is my left hand and my most dominant hand is my right hand and I'm just spreading the glue across it. I'm always in control with my pointer and thumb, keeping control of the weft. Again, horseshoe all the way up the back of the head and just follow along. Yes, these tracks have to dry, so grab your blow dryer and dry your wefts don't make it too hot because this hair this is hair that is balding on the budget yes it is a blend so do not burn the extensions you can't just go ahead and use warm to cool heat to dry your wefts as you can see all the way up you'll notice that i'm putting this adjacent to the track it's not parallel it's adjacent so you'll see me just trying to close it up there you go just keep ewing the track at the top until you close it up. Next, we move on to the ponytail. So because I have a shortcut, I am foaming the sides down. And I would even foam my ponytail. Let it dry under the dryer. Because my hair is freshly relaxed, I don't need a holding gel or anything like that. I am going in with just foam, tying my hair ponytail up, and then I'll sit on the dryer. Y'all don't mind me. I'm just admiring how my hair is ponytailing, honey, from shortcut to a whole fan. But yeah, you will begin to braid your hair. I'm going to rubber band it, make a knot for my ponytail to swing from. That's what you want to do. 
the next thing after you braid it and make your knot you want to wrap paper around it paper will protect your ponytail because the way i install my ponytail i will be using glue to do so bonding glue that is now the only time i use gel is to do my baby hairs check it out check it out and just to tighten up uh the ponytail itself i did want to add a last final piece i learned that i should not have done that but i just did it anyway so you want to close that up just put it real close the ponytail itself is going to go over that section so i did not have to do that now i'm going to wrap my ponytail around you will do a circle starting at the tip of your ponytail and just go around so that ball won't show follow me pause it here and just do that little bit of information about this hair it is a blend but it can be flat ironed on low heat and it was under 40 bucks two packs you want to just keep wrapping just keep wrapping you got this and voila now we have a ponytail next you want to take some of the hair from the back and you want to use it to wrap it around i'm going to use beeswax to wrap this around just to make it slick and once you wrap this you're all set and then you're done here are some different ways i wore the style this is me and my grandmother I let her soul rest in peace i miss her i just recently lost her so i'll take a moment of silence as i end this video